Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training, with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. The properties of the object but we should be able to identify it and there is a tool over here which is called as object spy do you see a man over here with the hat he is an object spy okay and he is going to spy the property and property values of the object click on this object spy the object spy has opened then we have the login over here click on this hand Okay, do you see here? If I put it on my desktop, it says that it is win list view. If I take it to my toolbar, it is telling that, okay, this is a toolbar. If I take it to the start, it is telling that, you know, the start is a button. Okay. If I take this to this button over here again, it is telling this is a button. Take it to the agent name here. It is telling that this is win edit. Take it to this agent name. This is a label. And then we have this login. This is a dialog. So you were asking me yesterday, right? How do we identify whether it is a window or a dialog? Okay. You cannot identify like that as a tester by just looking at it. And we need not even find the reason why the developer is using the login or the window. That is his choice. Okay. But what we can do is if we want to use these properties, we can identify them using this object spy. Whether it is a dialog, whether it is a window, we can identify. This one, do you see? And then we have the password, we have the OK button. All the properties, OK, do you see there it has? OK, so this is how you identify the properties of the objects. OK. And object spy will be present here in the tools. Okay. If you go to the tools and then click on the object spy, your object spy will be appearing. Clear everybody? Yes. Ritu, even the static image has the properties. In fact, all the objects will have the properties. Okay. There are no objects without the properties. If there are no properties for the objects, how do you identify the object? Correct? Okay. Okay then. Fine. Any other questions, anybody? Sure, Prima. See here. Go to tools, then object spy. Okay. Take the application over here, any application you can take, click on this hand, then if you want to, you know, like move it, you got to hold on the control key. Do you see the enabled is true, focused is false, the properties, then we have the password, then we have the OK button, then the cancel button, help we have, static we have, right, all the objects. And then the object's properties are present here. Okay. These are the properties of the agent name. Enabled is true. Focused is true. Height is 20. Clear everybody? 
Okay, Saujanya focused is nothing but the cursor is present in the object. Okay. Jitu, don't go for all those properties, okay? We have nothing to do with all those. The important ones you can consider which are sufficient for you to identify the properties. Okay. Okay, Sophie, um, can you do the object spy one more time? See here, go to tools, object spy, click on this, then hold on the control, move it, then this is the object spy. Uh, no, Prakriti, that is not, um, yeah, it is going to give you the properties of the object. Yes, the not runtime value, but it gives the properties. Okay, runtime values are different. Values during the runtime means the ones that are entered by the user. They are not changing the two, they are going to be fixed. Okay. Okay, so now what you do is, you explore all these features. First go to the object repository you know, um, before that do some recording and then playback. Then after that go to the resources, try to delete one or two objects and then add them back. Then go to the tools and then, you know, explore on this object spy how it works. Okay. So you do that and meanwhile there are some problems over here um, for the assignment and all. I will solve it. Okay. Sure, Lata. Lata, you got to share your screen with me. Okay. Okay. Lata, I have made you the presenter. Can you please share your screen? Okay, sure Raji, I'll be helping you. Yes, tell me Lata, what is the error? Okay, line number zero, class factory supply. Okay, what is it? Mm, Slide 4a.exe, you have taken system util dot run. Okay, go to the script. Okay, are you getting this every time? Okay, and where is your flight reservation application present? Can you open that? Right click on it. No, no, no. Right click on the flight reservation. Go to the start. Then flight, right click, properties. Okay, copy that target. And then paste it there on your system. Okay, remove one of the code. Okay, now execute it. Okay, failed to run the script. Class factory cannot. Okay, I just wanted to see the error. Can you please click on that error in the result summary? Yes, let me see this. Class factory cannot supply the requested class. 
Okay, one second, let me note it down. Okay, give me a moment. Let me check and tell you. Cannot supply the requested class. Okay. Go to the record and run settings. Let me see your settings. Okay, go to the automation. Record and run settings. Windows application. Okay, this is proper. Let me check for a moment. Okay. Okay, give me a moment. Let me check it. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a common issue that you may get it. Okay. But there must be a solution for this. Let me check it. Okay. Okay, possibly, you know, there are uh, some files that are missing, okay. Um, okay, so what you do is go to Windows slash 32 folder. Lata, go to Windows slash 32 folder. I mean your C drive. Go to my com uh, computer and then go to C drive. Program files. 
program files 86 86 no no program files 86 okay you are in that then um, do you see system so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.